The best shooting badges in NBA 2K22. How to properly use your shooting badges because the best shooting badges for one player may not be the best shooting badges for another player. What's good, All City fam? I'm All City, and thank you for tuning in. Before we continue this video, I would love to invite you guys to join the number one NBA 2K22 Discord. If you guys are looking for players to run with on NBA 2K22, join our Discord. We would love to have you. We just hit 13,000 members, and we would love for you guys to become a part of the family. You guys have been going absolutely crazy with the support on the channel and crushing these like goals so if we can get this video to 100 likes i would greatly appreciate it hopefully you guys find this video helpful and informative now let's get right all right yeah so we're gonna go through these badges one by one break them down help you guys better understand them so that way you're not wasting badge points because these shooting badges are definitely set up so that way you could equip them for particular play styles your actual shooting badge arsenal and loadout is going to be dependent upon your play style and that's what i noticed that 2k did with the shooting badges this year the first badge we're reviewing is the blinders badge if you're a player that likes to move side to side you take advantage of the left right cheese or you want to learn how to take advantage of the left right cheese then the blinders badge is going to be super goaded for you but what level should you equip the blinders badge on a ton of the information that i'm going to be reviewing here has been provided to us by nba 2k labs so if you guys would like a premium membership with nba 2k labs they give you the best jump shots with the largest green windows and the highest make percentages use promo code all city to save 20 percent you see it right up top there so the blinders badge if you got this badge at hall of fame which you need a 99 three ball to get the badge on hall of fame you will be able to hit about 80 percent of your shots that are contested 10 to 25 percent but those contests have to come from the side so it's usually the players that use the left right cheese so they get a nice speed boost toward one direction and the defender is trailing alongside of them and that's where blinders takes full effect for blinders on gold people were questioning about blinders on gold and this as per 2k labs is not that much of a percentage boost increase although it is somewhere in the range of four to ten percent on shots that are contested 10 to 25 percent so if you find yourself as a player that takes a lot of contested shots somewhere in the range from 10 to 25 percent then blinders on gold may be beneficial for you but if you're not one of those players and you really only take open shots then you may be able to avoid the blinders badge altogether again 2k set up these badges so that they meet particular playing styles and they can accommodate your playing style circus threes another golden badge i love this badge i've been putting it to the test i don't know the percentage boost that the circus threes badge actually gives you but we do know that hall of fame is absolutely goaded you'll see a tremendous difference on your leaning shots your dribble pull-ups and things like that from the three-point line especially in the corner when you equip circus threes on hall of fame i'm not exactly sure of the lower levels if they're as beneficial i have used it on gold and i did hit a good amount of shots on gold but i've tried gold and hall of fame and they've worked perfectly for me you may want to consider this if you're one of those players who like to take leaners from the corner use circus three is a golden badge dead eye man there's so many questions about the dead eye badge does it work everybody is inquiring about that i gotta tell you i'm just gonna share my experience with you guys because we haven't gotten much information on a dead eye badge as an og badge but we don't know if it's actually effective in nba 2k22 i use the badge on silver right now only because we haven't gotten any tests done on a dead eye for nba 2k22 i want to say that although the badge is extremely inactive i mean you don't you rarely if ever see this badge activate i do feel like i hit more shots with the dead eye badge on and i don't know if that's a placebo effect or whatnot but it just feels like i shoot better hit more shots when i have the dead eye badge on there has been rumors that say that this opens up your green window so take that with a grain of salt it's a rumor that i've heard out there and i just want to share with you guys because we are part of a large community that has a lot of experience with shooting badges green machine if you're going to equip this badge you may want to consider it on silver it will give you a small boost and is one of those badges that you would use for the park and not so much in rec or pro -Am. so green machine on silver is a good safe spot to equip it if you had a ton of extra shooting badges and you just wanted to equip another badge that'll help give you an edge i noticed that a lot of badges here especially a badge like green machine which once used to be one of the most goaded badges you could equip on your player now it's not so much and these are just badges that help give you an edge and there's going to be a lot of these badges that change their kind of way in which they operate similar to green machine badges that just help give you an edge and you may not consider it at a super high level lucky seven on bronze massive shooting boost so there's some badges that meet criteria like for play style like a two dribble and then pull up or a leaner things like this 
meet a playstyle uh blinders taking contested shots the lucky seven badge is one of those badges that you put it on bronze forget about it don't even think about it and it comes in handy whenever you need it. taking shots within the first seven seconds of your possession bronze is a great value and great bang for your buck set shooter stay away from it unless you intend to stay open with the ball in your hand for two seconds and then shoot which is very rare which is why i don't recommend the set shooter badge because you have to wait two seconds before you shoot the rock and you gotta have the ball in your hand for those two seconds it ain't like you could just sit around spot up and then take a shot no you gotta actually have the ball in your hand for two seconds somebody a defender needs to leave you open there has to be a complete collapse in the defense which rarely if ever happens because a lot of defenders just follow the ball wherever the ball is that's where the defender is going to be so i don't recommend set shooter stop and pop a goaded badge recommend the level is at the hall of fame or silver level silver is a great value badge you can put it on silver forget about it two badge points and you're good to go or if you really want to take your shooting to the next level equip it at hall of fame and you'll get a great return on your investment but what's really important to remember with the stop and pop badge and a lot of the other shooting badges in the game is that this is a play style type of badge a behind the back from the right hand to the left hand and then popping you basically got to consider if you're someone who activates the stop and pop badge players that would not be able to activate activate stop and pop are corner sitters players that spot up at the hash these are players that will not activate stop and pop with their shots so you just got to think hey will i be able to incorporate this into my play style or should i incorporate this badge so that way i can adjust to a certain play style and then activate the badge and help stack it with some other shooting badges the catch and shoot badge i've heard great things about it i've experienced great things about it as well a badge that helps you with missed time shots catch and shoot will definitely help you out there and you'll notice the differences you could equip this badge at a low level or at the max level and you'll notice some differences out there if spot up shooting is your play style then you may want to invest in the catch and shoot badge the clutch shooter badge i do got to say this is a badge that'll probably be most beneficial in rec or pro-am i hear a lot of people use it in park as well it's something along like where you after 16 points you're able to use clutch shooter effectively and it'll help you with your shots although i personally don't recommend the clutch shooter badge only only because shooting is so easy this year so a lot of players are able to shoot it's not necessary to get an additional boost with the clutch shooter badge unless you have a ton of shooting badges then you will consider the clutch shooter badge difficult shots i love difficult shots this year although on this particular level i didn't target the difficult shots badge i do have a player that i'm able to utilize the difficult shots badge at a higher level and i love what it does for my player taking them leaners i just one two speed boost into the corner take a leaner and bam difficult shots is going to help me out there another badge that has to meet your playing style if you're a player that likes to take leaners from the mid-range or dribble pull-ups from the mid-range then difficult shots might be able to help you out you may want to consider it the hot zone hunter badge another questionable badge a badge that was once an og badge keep in mind hot zones are really important this year and you do need to understand that if you create a hot zone you want to work on getting those hot zones because they're going to give you a five percent it's not it's not a tremendous boost but they're going to give you a five percent boost to your make percentage if you're shooting within your hot zones and that's without the hot zone hunter badge now when you equip the hot zone hunter badge i do got to tell you guys what players had told me and then i'll share my experience with the hot zone hunter badge i've noticed that i shoot better when i have the hot zone hunter badge equipped i did run tests yesterday on our live stream and for you guys if you guys want to come check us out on the live stream while we're running these tests on these badges you're all welcome we live stream every single day we would love to have you guys join but the hot zone hunter badge i noticed that i shoot better when i have it equipped if i'm not mistaken 2k labs made a video about this hot zone hunter badge saying that it wasn't that necessary this year a badge that it just helped give you an edge you guys let me know in the comment section below if you really love the hot zone hunter badge it's just not as important as it once was 2k changed the badge altogether the mismatch expert badge an s tier badge for shooting over defenders that are three inches or 12 
baller. Uh, the mismatch expert badge accompanied with the blinders badge helps you make a ton of contested shots against taller players. So you definitely want to consider the mismatch expert badge. It works from contests on the side and contests that are in front of you. So it's just a goaded badge altogether. When your defender is three inches or taller, you're going to get a massive shooting boost. I'm pretty certain that this is a max level badge. So if you could get this badge on Hall of Fame, you definitely want to consider the mismatch expert badge. I've been using it on silver just to give me a slight edge and it works out perfectly. The slippery off ball badge, another great badge to consider equipping. I don't think you necessarily need to have this badge at a higher level. I think when you equip it on bronze or silver, you're going to see some better like pop out animations if you're a pick and roller to help you navigate through traffic. So slippery off ball, a great shooting badge to equip on your player. The volume shooter badge, another badge that'll help give you guys a slight edge to your shooting. So if you already prioritize your main shooting badges for your play style and you have some badges left over, then volume shooter, a highly active badge will give you a small percentage boost to your shooting out there. And there's a badge that's best used for rec or pro-am for players that take a ton of shots. Volume shooter will increase that make percentage for each shot taken. It doesn't even have to be made. Volume shooter is highly active, but it only gives you a small percentage boost, which will help give you guys just that slight edge. The chef badge, a badge that's goaded if it meets your play style. I can't stress that enough. If you guys are not taking shots from 30 plus feet out, then don't consider it the chef badge. If you are a player that intends to take shots from 30 plus feet out and take full advantage of the chef badge, then you may want to consider this at the max level because Hall of Fame is going to make you guys a nightmare for the defense out there. Consider chef badge if you're one of those players who take shots 30 plus feet out. You like to dribble and then stop and pop. Chef is going to be a dream for you guys. The corner specialist badge, a badge that's underrated. Badge that works perfectly with circus threes and catch and shoot to help you shoot lights out from the corner. The recommended levels for corner specialists are gold and bronze. The bronze level gives you a 5% boost to your shooting. So it's a great value at the bronze level. And the gold level will give you a 10% boost to your shooting so you accompany that with catch and shoot for missed time shots and circus threes with the boost that you get and oh you're just gonna be a nightmare from the corner fade ace is a beautiful badge and a badge that you may want to consider if it meets your play stuff you like to take phase post phase whatever it is whatever type of fade that you take Fade Ace is definitely going to give you a shooting increase. I've seen it in action time and time again. Ball City Cap takes full advantage of the Fade Ace badge, and he is somewhat lights out when he goes into the post and takes a fade. Fade Ace, a goaded badge, and you may want to consider this at the highest level, although it may not be absolutely necessary at the highest level. If you're good at fades, you may just want to consider equipping it and see where it works for you. The Limitless Spotter badge, people have some confusion on how the Limitless Spotter badge works works because it not only works in catch and shoot situations now you can't actually dribble stop the only difference between a uh, limitless spot up and chef is that you when you actually dribble and then stop you have to wait like a half a second before you shoot to activate limitless spot up if you do not wait a half a second then you'll then in turn activate the chef badge so those are the differences between chef and limitless spot up the chef badge does not work in catch and shoot situations but the limitless spot up badge does work in catch and shoot situations from 30 plus feet out so again badges that gotta meet your play style if you intend to activate limitless spot up or the chef badge you have to be 30 plus feet out and it has to be in that particular situation catch and shoot or if you dribble and intend to stop you'll just have to wait a second before you shoot limitless spot up will activate if you're a player that likes to take two dribbles and then pop that's where rhythm shooter will take full effect and you can stack a badge like rhythm shooter with stop and pop just great badges to equip on your player but don't get confused if you guys intend to equip these type of badges you need to make sure that you're activating them so that way you're not wasting badge points out there so just get the understanding of how to actually activate them hit the lab see how you can stack badges like stop and pop with rhythm shooter then put those animations to you so you can stack these badges and help increase your shooting percentage and the last badge is the sniper badge do we even need to talk about how goaded the sniper badge is i would like to say how many of you guys 
guys think that sniper should be nerfed because i hear that a lot a lot of people saying sniper needs to be nerfed because players are hitting full whites out there that are contested and it's like what is going on that shot shouldn't have gone in and that's due to sniper i personally love the sniper badge i hope they don't do anything to the badge but i could understand a lot of you players frustrations with some of these shots that go in which shouldn't i believe that if you're open that's where you should be rewarded and the defense should be penalized so a full white that's completely wide open on a player that has a super high amount of three point attributes they should continue to hit and snipers should continue to help them i think 2k just may need to make some adjustments with the contest system versus the sniper badge let me know what you guys think in the comments section below i hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative and if you did please consider dropping a like on the video if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as we intend to have a ton of 2k22 content coming your way i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all